welcome to the channel and today's just a quick update vlog type deal we're just doing some unboxings of some gear i got in this week and kind of showcase what will be coming up on the channel in the near, near future uh, i also had kind of a fun thing happen and by fun i mean not so fun but uh, i didn't do a very good job apparently of soldering the h on this keyboard that is my favorite keyboard the drift mechanics austin and the reason I like this one is because it's a full full set, has numbers and everything. And also, I mean, this thing, no joke. I mean, you can lift weights with this thing. <laughs> it's, as, uh, it's, it's a beast. But, so yeah, I'm going to have to figure out getting this thing uh, taken apart and resolder that H key and make sure it's working again. So, until then, I'll be having my janky little keyboard here that's nowhere near as good or as pleasurable of a typing experience. <laughs> But it's nice, it does its little job, but it's noisy and plastic. Um, has cool RGB, I guess, if that's your thing. But uh, yeah, so that's, you know, I'll plug it and show you. But this is a Kira from uh, Kono Store, I believe. Or not Kono, yeah, Kono Store? No. Yeah, oh, it's a Kira. Anyways, I got this a long time ago. I think I kickstarted it. And it, it's okay, but it's, it's plastic. And uh, yeah, it's not as enjoyable to use as the Austin. So, anyhow. Uh, this also might make me I also have the forever board from drift mechanics that I should probably at some point do a video on building that out uh, so maybe this will kind of make that happen so yeah so let's get into some of the stuff I got in this week first thing up is the trip o win Leah and uh, I'll get some shots of this because I'm kind of far away from my I'm, I'm using a new lens and I'm, my camera's like really far away and so I just wanted to play with it I'm using my it's actually not a new lens an older lens that I picked up it's a 35 millimeter G Master for Sony but uh, I wanted to see what it would kind of look like with this setup but it's my <laughs> camera is exponentially further away usually I can like right here I could I'd be touching I could actually be over my camera by that point so it's almost as far away as I am tall. So about six feet away, I'd say about now. Um, so I don't know how good this will focus in and get uh, this thing kind of peaking, maybe we'll do it. I don't know. Anyhow, it's probably too focused on me, but this is the Leah triple win. Maybe I'll get some B-roll shots of it real quick just so you can see what it is. Um, I don't know, I'm not super thrilled about it. I don't. I haven't heard too many good things about this. So uh, maybe we'll do a quick video on that later next week. Uh, let's see, let's start with some fun random things. I don't, I'm not sure what this is, but it feels like a case maybe for a phone, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, that's cool, I like this. So this is a fun little case that I ordered randomly on one of my random playing around on Instagram, and this showed up on there, and I was like, that is some cool art. I like that art for a case, so kind of get an idea I'll do I mean I don't think my camera is wanting to <laughs> focus on products for some reason with this but anyways I'll get a quick b-roll of that maybe too and I'll over impose it on this just so you can see what this is but it's got this really cool like NASA and a bunch of little logos here like uh, going on and this is I like the little moon guy he's got he's a little looks like a little astronaut holding a moon balloon but he's floating up kind of cool um, so yeah that's kind of a nice little deal but I mean, I have a pretty nice, I have the leather case for the iPhone 13, so I'm not sure how long I will swap to that, but I mean, God, man, these phones are so, Apple just makes fantastic products. Um, so let's see here, oh wow, yeah, that just snapped right on, fantastic. Man, that looks dope, I like that. Okay, so that's cool, I'm digging on that a lot, actually. That is super cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll do, actually we'll do, because I know what this is, we'll do that last. Um, but this, I'm pretty sure, is a vinyl record that I ordered, and I am pretty stoked on getting hooked up. So, if you noticed, my desk is a little bit barren, and the reason it's barren is because I had to send back my beloved, and by mine, I mean not mine, and I wish it was mine, name nate xs3 and that thing whew, man i mean if you haven't seen the video like that I, i'm enamored with it and i'm missing it now i'm trying to reconfigure my old setup to work with some like the uh, so i got a subwoofer in so i'm setting that up with the subwoofer and it was so much easier just to plug into a subwoofer out off the nate but is what it is now i just have it set up the way it's you know 
way you normally do set up a subwoofer. But yes, this is a vinyl, so stoked on that. Pretty decently packed up. Newspaper, <laughs> giant rubber band. And, oh yes, very, very excited for this. Um, wow, brand new, yes, has not been opened. There we go. This is The Clash, London Calling. Very stoked to get this on the player once I get my speaker set up back all, all done up and back together. And which actually ties in, so it's, it still has the plastic, <laughs> like, peel. Anyways, um, stoked, excited for this. So I will be putting something together for that, which is this piece of kit, which I'm pretty excited about. Uh, this is the Puffin Phono DSP by Parks Audio. And so that's what I'll be setting up today. So I'll probably get that going. Um, but yeah, so this thing is a really cool bit of kit as well. It's uh, interesting because they use DSP. I was like, shouldn't talk while trying to mess with plastic. But this thing essentially basically takes in the analog signal from the record and then it helps basically get rid of pops and scratches and what have you. And also we'll throw in different like like tube signatures or you can do all sorts of stuff. But you can just do a basic, like the basic one is where it will analyze pops and scratches and then remove those before sending them to your speakers. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, but I, I think it's it flirts the line of like true analog into digital space and so I think it'll be somewhat I think it's somewhat controversial in that sense but I mean technology is technology as long as the stuff sounds good at the end of the day I'm I'm happy with it and I've heard nothing but good things about this so I'm very excited about it and yeah so we'll dive into this and taking it apart and by taking it apart I've been unboxing it and putting it together on my desk for my analog record setup <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that, that's what I'll be working on uh, this week, upcoming week, will be the Puffin, the, that triple win thing, and then the other things I have on the plate, or on the docket, is I will be doing, well, I got this in, this is, I, we talked about this last one of my last vlogs, the Topping D90 SE, so I'm going to try and do, I've been listening to it, and kind of what have you, and it's, it's an interesting little DAC, but I'll do a video, bleh. I'll do a proper video on this, and I want to compare it to the Bifrost 2. Uh, hopefully have some more live stream stuff. I want to do more of those, just because I know it's uh, a lot of people enjoy that, and I enjoy interacting with the, the community that way. So I'm going to try and get those in more, and hopefully get more guests in. I'd like to get more people in. I'm kind of working on some other stuff as well. There'll be more lifestyle style live streams or different guests that aren't necessarily audio related so looking at some people that are in the whiskey world maybe or some people that are in maybe coffee or you know those kind of things i want to kind of branch out into my other hobbies that i like or just the my things that i like to do or i find interesting so hopefully i can get some guests in regarding that stuff and moving those along and also I would like to do more videos on that type of thing as well, like other other hobbies that I have or other topics or other you know, creative outlets, I guess. So yeah, hopefully I can get some stuff going on that, but right now I'm kind of learning how to prioritize my, my videos and, and moving forward. So once that kind of comes into line and I can you know get a nice workflow going, which I'm trying to do this week by, by putting out so many videos and also just kind of... I'm going to try to do that next week too, like how far can I push, or how much can I create in a week kind of deal, and, and how do I, you know, scale or, un, or bring it back or push it forward and getting that kind of scale going. But uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll catch you all on the next one and keep an eye out for the live stream for this weekend, and we'll chat later. Cheers.